let's, let's jump in. So um, here we had our we had our breakdown, and then just the question is is what what what's actually going on um, with regards to the target? Yeah. Um, so I'm looking. The simple one here is a potential just a an impulse down. A very one, two, three, four, five. And I still think we're looking at a, a, a 618 target um, as a touch back. And then equally is, that's the 786. Uh, it could come up short. And again, sometimes when it comes up short, it likes to land between the 065 and the, the 072. So it could land that, still land at 3270. Um, so I'm just, I'm just mindful of that, yeah. Um, but equally, I'm also mindful of potentially it, it, it going further. Um, it's just hard to tell. I'm going to show you now. Um, where is it? Here? This one is. I'm looking at this this channel here where you have. There's the yellow line is one part of it. The purple line is the other. Yeah. Um, I'm potentially wanting to come down and do 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 potentially a double bottom, where it comes down. We're only halfway down and it wants to come down. And hit the bottom of this channel uh, and hit this support line at 30 30 or so <clears throat> um, so I'm just I'm just mindful of that because uh, first drop first drop can be below a uh, third spike so on this small arc here you've got uh, skyline is first spike second spike third spike resistance peak is here is mid-range high is here and uh, third spike is double top this is quadruple top is in in the bull market more so than the bear market you can get first drops that drop lower than third spike more so in a, in the ascending channel when it's a when it's a bull run rather than a bear run it, when it's a when it's a bear run norm bear channel normally third spike goes deep first drop isn't as deep but that's that can switch quite often when we're on the way up so if this is a bottoming out is we could be switching here so this could get that extra that extra drop so that's all i'm saying uh, <clears throat> i'm not going to uh, wait to see profit wise uh, <coughs> excuse me i still have a little um irritating cough hanging over from from COVID um, is I'm going to watch watch carefully around the the, the golden pocket 702 uh, and definitely if it's coming down and hit the 786 I am uh, I think I'll definitely take some profit there yeah um, I also think potentially there's a there's a 318 as well but I won't wait for that uh, and equally is coming down Coming down for a back test off this wedge. Coming down for a back test off this wedge is is would fit the, the 618 and the 786. But now that, that makes it all fit very nice and uh, price action isn't always facilitating what's nice. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, one of the patterns I will be watching for to to indicate the potential. Is if this is a three, four, five, again it can it can get short here or can wick down. If it's going to go lower, is then it's possible that this is going to do more of a consolidation move. So you've got you'll get this, you know, and then you'll get you'll get that, and then you might get a, a sharp wick up, and then it and then it down it comes, and that that could be offering. A deeper a deeper drop down yeah and I am thinking of the previous double top over here um, the previous double top over here uh, where look you've got the drop down there's that pattern that I was talking about and then you've got the drop and look at the size of this one compared to that one so they're, they're, they're fairly even and that's your that's your three legs down yeah now this one came up short. Now this is just a back test of one, so it's you can't rigidly hold it. You can see this one came to the 
065 to the 072 to that to that spot in there it came up short and I mean short as a compared to the 786 because XRP predominantly likes to do 786 so anything less than that I, I basically say it comes up a little short yeah um, now they're different they're, they're while we're in it's same same but different we're in the uh, similar parts of the pattern but again third drops can be can be deeper so it looks like it looks like a one one step down uh, potentially two steps down and we're heading for a, a, a third one down yeah um, so I'll be looking for that consolidation uh, if it's going to happen and if it's going to happen I'll be watching it on the the one hour here's the MAs on the one hour and how it will play out if it does is you can see the 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 pink one here the 20 EMA will push it down again okay and then it'll come back up again and by that time the 20 sorry the 20 MA is the pink one the 20 EMA the white one will come down and it, that will push it down for another another wave now again I'm, I think I'm stretching out too far but you get the idea that the, the, the 20 EMA will be the one that push it down and then sometimes you get a sharp spike up and then down it comes and if it does that greater consolidation phase it is indicating that the push down could be a little stronger yeah as opposed to as opposed to uh, comes up it's this and then comes down like that yeah and um, that that would be uh, I think that would be a little weaker with regards to the push down so so that's 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 sort of that's sort of much for yeah uh, equally down on the spot the center here I'll be looking for uh, potentially the RSI to do a, a another rundown and then do a bullish divergence where look it doesn't break below the bottom here but yet price action will come lower so you see price action coming lower but yet bottom center is the RSI doesn't break below and again that's a strong indication that it's going to do is doing a bullish divergence and it's it's tar it's, it's exhausting itself out yeah uh, and then bottom right is we have the stock and again I'll be looking at potentially the stock having one more run to the bottom or close to it one one more run or a half a run <laughs> something like that yeah uh, but definitely it looks like it's going to have um, or if it wants to do the consolidation phase it might do something like this okay um so that's 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 what i'm looking at my indicator here um isn't isn't uh, showing up i think it's my i think it means my generally my broadband's a little a little a little laggy when this doesn't show yeah um <clears throat> okay so um this chart here is this is on my channels chart okay looks like chaos until you zoom in and uh, these are all the dominant lines of um of uh the full history of xrp yeah um so i use it in zones so i'm going to point out something here is i haven't pointed out for a little bit and it's worked it's worked it's those it's those long-term views where it's worked remembering what things mean yeah is i'll put this on the daily so you can see it more clearly yeah and just this is just regards that we're we're coming to a space where i think there's a bigger move coming in yeah and if you look this is literally the beginning of xrp and here's its history all, all the way through yeah so this is back 2000 2013 so you see these blue channel lines you'd be amazed at how they sync up with the like look 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 at this one here support support resistance all the way back to the, the first ever bull run and the topping out and the then the look it drops down resistance and drops down so the the, the historically they're, they're 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 absolutely all solidly confirmed same with the yellow ones all these yellow ones each move in between here is a parabolic move yeah um so when you zoom in and you look at what's going on now is look at the blue light blue lines here there's a, there's a channel going on here yeah 
and it's after breaking out of it and then coming back into it. Okay, and now if you look at this yellow line, this is one of these parabolic channels, is it broke it, and it's after coming back in, and now it's after dropping back down. And look, it's on one of these blue lines, which is a, equally, they're, they're big moves when they're broken, but they're more slower long term. The, the yellow one is a bigger move. So there's the next yellow line down here, is the next blue line is down here. So you can see that all this price action was bouncing between the yellow and the blue line here, long term lines, yeah? trying to decide what way it's going to go. The red line here is a basic uh, uh, support and resistance line. Again, they're the, they're, the, they're, the, they're the daily or the weekly ones. They're big, they're big time frames, yeah? So you can see price action again is, is, is holding on it at the moment, yeah? Um, and then the, look at the white lines. These are all the local descending. This is all much more about the local, the local price action of the the bear market. So all these white lines are the channels of the, the bear market. That's the re most recent, yeah? So now, when you look at this, it topped out on this white descending channel line. It, it bottomed out here at the moment. Now look at the, look at the, look at the junction it's at. It's at the base of a blue line, the base of a red line, and then the base of a white line. So you can see the space it's holding here, and equally it's broken the yellow line here, broke out, back tested, it's back out of it again, yeah? So now, if this breaks, potentially, this is what I'm saying, we could have a drop down to this space here, which is the, you see the triangle here, and you got the three steps down, and it's, again, it's gonna drop down and head up and do uh, Mountain Peak. But it can have a deeper drop here, so it could just drop to here, and again, this is where we get the 3150, 3160 or so. It could do that. Now I know the 786 is uh, 3220 or so, so I'd be looking to take profit there. But it could, it could, look, see this, this line here is, it could just confirm this line again. But it might want to go deeper and come all the way down onto this uh, white channel line here, which again is 2955, which would be a double bottom. It's a much deeper a much deeper uh, first drop and then we pull the arc down here yeah so that that could happen that that's without a doubt that that could happen um, but anyway anyway I, I think I think it's gonna be a, a seven eight six if you're gonna ask me what my bias is I think it's gonna be a seven eight six that's my bias yeah but I'm just mindful I'm mindful of that I will be doing along once I take my profit I'll be immediately going in on a long um, and it'll be a low long where if it does drop down that little bit more, I will uh, I'll do a little bit of DCAing in to pull my price down. But I'll, I'll also have a limit on how much I'll do that, um, just in case something more drastic happens. I don't want to get caught in a big hole. Um, so, so now, if we just look at the EMAs for a moment, uh, the far top left is the five minute. And again, you can see uh, this correction is the five minute, the, the 20, the white line crossing over the 55, the blue line. Uh, and that's that's this correction that's gone on since early this morning. Yeah? It looks like it's topped out and it's doing a double top for its correction down, yeah. It may wanna go up and do a three, four, five itself and then come down, or it's topped out, it's doing a one, two, and then it's gonna head down, yeah. Over over on the top right is the 15 minute. So you can see that the 20 here is, is quite a distance away from the 55. It, in the sense of this impulse looks like it's already done. So this is gonna get rejected. Even if the even if one's go a little higher and the 20 gets up to the 55, I'm pretty sure this is gonna get rejected and turned down. It could be a shocker and break up and <laughs> we've already bottomed out, but I, I really don't think that's the case. Um, but again, it's it's one of those things you watch you're watching for, yeah. Uh, and then <clears throat> bottom 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 right is the one hour. So look at the crossing of the one hour here. Is you see that you see that drop down, yeah. Uh, and potentially we're looking at maybe a back test of the twenty here. Uh, so it could wake up. It could wake up to thirty three eighty one. 
it, it might want to do that. Um, I do believe that the 20 here will be the thing that will, will push it back down, yeah? Um, which is back to the EMA, as I was telling you, is, is, is it might go a little bit sideways, but eventually I think this will push it down for its final, its final push. Uh, normally, normally it's around the 10% from here, it's a 10% drop, normally. So if we put this from where it crosses over, yeah? So 10% drop takes it down to 31.83. 31, 31, 90 or so, yeah? Uh, so somewhere, even, even if it's a 9% drop, uh, that would take us up to 32.20, which is the 7.86, and also the 6.18 on the, on the macro scale. So <coughs> it does look like there's, a, there's definitely a bit more of a push down. Um, same here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be giving you the same information a different way on the, on the SMAs here, yeah? Um, and a big, a big change from yesterday. If you remember yesterday, I was talking about this the 55 EMA on the daily. I was like, you know, we got to break this. We got to see this break. I really am surprised how deep it went yesterday. Uh, I, I thought, I thought it might get, get here and then take a couple of days to work its way down. But this was a, this was a substantial drop yesterday. Yeah. Um, on previous, the previous, if you look here, this is the previous. Uh, this is where I think we are on the, the previous. Um, uh, here's uh, Mountain Peak <clears throat> on the bigger arc, and here's Skyline, and here we are heading for Mountain Peak on this arc. So we're in this space, and we're doing this correction, I believe. And if you look previously, once it broke, you got the long drop on the day. <clears throat> Excuse me, but look, this one's even longer. But yet the volume here is bigger. Volume here is less, but we still we got this a bigger drop than this one. So it looks like we're going to get a, a topping out here. And potentially, we'll get our drop sometime today. It bottoms out. You get a sharp re return, and then it starts to head up for for Mountain Peak. That's what that's what it seems like. So it's just a matter of how far that's that's going to go. Yeah. If I put the um, fib on this just to just to show you, yeah. Uh, again, you can see the wick. You know, we can see the the the, the, the wick down, and then and then up it goes. So I'll be watching this closely today. Yeah. Um. So, so that's it. So <coughs> I'm still, I'm going to finish now. So I'm still looking at the 786 as a target, 30, 3221. I'll be getting very cautious around 3270, 3280 as a bottom. Uh, then I'll be looking for a long and my long, and I'll be cautious with, the amount I trade with. So wherever this bottoms out, let's say I jump in at uh, 32.30 or so, 32.30 or 32.20. Yeah, I already have a, I already have a long in at 32.20. So if it's 7.86, I take profit and I'm already in on my long. Yeah, uh, I'll be looking at from the from the bottom to the top here, mountain peak. I'll be looking at the topping out at the 786 at around 38.74. Um, again, pull it down a little bit. If it's 702, it's 37.85. So split the difference, we go 38. So if I put if I put a target in at 38, and again, I'll be watching it. And you're you're always you always get this blow off top for mountain peak, yeah? So you see this here? You always get that blow off top. So you one leg up, you, there's a retrace, second second leg up, and, uh, and then here's the third, the third pump, yeah. Or you can go one, two, three, and then the pump. So a lot of times you can think it's done here. It'll drop back down, and then you get that blast up. So I won't be coming. I won't be coming out of Mountain Peak uh, until I see this this pump up. And you got to catch this, so to speak, on a, as it tops out. Yeah, it'll be fast, uh, but it's not over until you get that. Generally on Mountain Peak, yeah. Um, so that's what I'd be watching for on the on the legs going up. Um, and that's that's that that that's it for me. Um, so there you go. I think well, not I think we're, I, for sure we're going to get our bottom our bottom today, yeah. Um, and I expect it will be a back test of this wedge, and then on the way up is we get we get our our, our completion of the the lift back up to the top of this wedge, yeah. Retraces itself back up. 
It may even go higher, to be honest. It may, the space price action may even go all the way up to here, but this is where we're looking for take my, take my profit, yeah. Um, and that'll take us back up to here. Um, so potentially another leg down. Then we find our way. I think Mountain Peak, this will be this will be like a three-day trip. It won't be it won't be dragged out. This all see the way this is dragged out a little bit here. I think it'll be much more of a look how fast it goes up here. It'll be a fairly quick uh, pump. Uh, and again, then we'll have a bit of sideways. Uh, we'll come back down for for a third drop possibly back onto see this yellow line this is the center line of the big bear channel so now we break out of this bear channel and probably back testing onto this again yeah uh, and then we find ourselves somewhere around here and then this will be the completion of this smaller arc and this 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 second arc here the middle one yeah and then i think we're going to get a bigger move so either our bigger move is going to take us down potentially to this support line and possibly down to this one, which takes us down to 19 or so, yeah. Um, or we get taken back up to test this this line on the channel here, the bear channel here, all the way down the, this whole bear channel. We, we head back up, test it, maybe a little breakout hitting around 50, 57, 58. Um, so I think that's the, this is the play of it, and then, and then, then we're gonna get our bigger decision, yeah. So that's what I think. That's what I think is going on. If I've misread it, <laughs> it could be going down now. This, this could all be. This I am mindful of. This could be a third drop, final peak, final final bounce, uh, final retrace, and then and then down we come. Is is uh, we could be in for a bigger move sooner. But but again, I, I think this will play out. So what we really want to try and say is is tight stop losses. Um, manage your risk here because this this is where it gets pretty volatile before it does it does its move. Yeah. So so that's me. I'm going to hand you over to to uh, Mahela. Good morning. Now I'm going to be quite quite succinct today because it's um, it's really simple where where we are um, and we've got two options. Um, I'm looking at the daily on Ethereum. I'm going to start with Ethereum because Ethereum is the one that moved the most yesterday in terms of its retracement, um, and it's been it's been doing textbook trading um, moves, which is which which makes it a great coin to trade at the moment. So, uh, if we're looking at Ethereum on the daily on the daily levels, we can see the triangle that it's been moving in. Um, I believe there are two levels down to hold for support the 1500 i know it's 1480 but i'll say 1500 and then the 1300 level so these two will be holding for support um for a while um now i don't i don't believe we've had the third drop in this bear market yet for ethereum um i believe there's going to be more movement around this space between 1700 and 1300 maybe even going lower to the 1000 um, in order in order yes and this is the this is the smaller space if it breaks so the way we're looking at the way we're looking at the daily channel this is level one peak formation this is level two and there's one more level to go 500 I know I know it is a bold move. Now, I, I'm always, I'm always, uh, I'm, 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 I'm mindful of uh, placing this third level somewhere between 600 and 500. That's the zone. Isn't it? That's the zone. That's the range. The technical target. So uh, that's why I keep this line, because the technical target is uh, about f uh, 500 and um, and 60. So um, I don't, uh, I don't anticipate a move up unless two things happen um, as they as they said in Maverick we need two miracles <laughs> we need Watch Maverick do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was great fun so I'm gonna steal that miracle phrase so we need two miracles the first miracle is getting back above the 20 EMA on the daily we need to see that done and consolidated the way it happened here so the first candle, the first green candle that closed above it, the second green candle that closed above it, and then we continued two more days going up. 
And I know it looks small on the daily, but actually in percentages, it's a 9% move. So this is a nice daily range trade to make. Um, so the first miracle is going back uh, above the, um, the 20 on the daily. And the second miracle would be breaking this divergence line, this green divergence line that has been tested one, two, three times. Um, of course, any of these can happen. It's not like they're, they're, they're not going to happen. But the way the stochastic is heading down at the moment on the daily, I don't anticipate this happening without some more consolidation around the 1500 or possibly 1300. These are the two immediate levels that I see. Um, on the four hour, so um, I was talking to I was talking to Michael on the chats yesterday, and he was saying um, he thinks it's going to go lower. Absolutely, I believe so too. Uh, yesterday we've met the fifteen fifty target, which is right along this ascending wedge, which is a four hour structure. We're talking about we're talking about a structure that has taken almost three months to develop. Uh, no, today today is three months three months to develop. So this is the structure we've been moving in. Uh, and we have the 20 uh, at the moment, uh, the 20 MA almost, almost wicking uh, down, uh, almost crossing, uh, sorry, uh, the 55 EMA. And we have this line of the wedge holding for support. When this line of the wedge breaks, we are looking at a technical target of this wedge of around 700. Now, the way this took three months to happen. This technical target might take about a month to happen too. So this is not going to be a daily trade. It's something that we do, you know, we put a position in in the morning and we take the profit in the evening. This is going to take at least a month to complete uh, this 800. Um, I'll, I'll round it off to 800. So um, again, we need to see a crossing of the 20 over the 55 on the four hour and then the breaking of this trend line. This is what we need to see on the bigger picture on the daily and the four hour to come down. Uh, as things are at the moment on the four hour we are holding support but the trend is down. We, we're holding the support of the trend line but we're not holding the support of any MA which is essential to go up and do a reversal. On the one hour, again, look at how perfect uh, and exact Ethereum's structures are. There it was, the touchdown to the line. Here is where I said we should take profit uh, on Monday. So we had two targets meet yesterday. The first one here, which was the midline. The midline broke. Uh, uh, if the midline breaks, the next target is the bottom line. And I said we should take profit at this target, which was the 702 because it, it's the safer um, it's the safer retracement level. Sometimes it can uh, it can do a shorter swing and then retrace up. It didn't do a shorter swing. It came down to the bottom line. Happy days. And now we need to see again on the shorter time frame on the one hour, which is the trades that we're doing at the moment. On the one hour, at the moment we've had the back test of the twenty. Great. If you wanna if you wanna continue a shorting the back test the back test of the 20 is a good entry point. I would only start with half of, half of a position here and then I would add the other half of the position when it breaks this trend line um, because we might be stuck in sideways along this level for a couple of days if this trend line doesn't hold and you don't want to lock too much of your capital and watch it go up and down. So. Here I would trade with half of my position at the back test and then half of my position uh, on confirmation. They're quite close together, so it's not like uh, I'm going to be losing a lot, but I would be doing a safer, um, more calculated choice. Now the technical target of this um, of this is thirteen sixty. Um, let's say thirteen um, seventy, thirteen um, eighty to give it a little bit of um, of space. <laughs> That's actually the only one. Uh, Ethereum there is doing the consolidation pattern because of the swings on the one hour. Yeah. That was the one hour. Yeah, the that was the one hour, yeah. The C way dropped up, down, mm -hmm. and the lift up, and the mm -hmm. lift down, mm -hmm. and then the final spill. Yeah. You're saying it, there's going to be a final spill. Yes. Yeah. Right. C way has dropped yeah. its top. Just two to it's done two tops. Yeah. 
it'll do a second bottom now. Yeah. The third top, yeah. third bottom, and then maybe a little spike up and then a drop. That's what I. That, that that's exactly what I I anticipate will happen because I've seen this sideways being very typical of breaking this line. Yeah. So the lines, this this line in the final stage of the pattern breaks when there's a lot of sideways putting pressure on it down. I think it's an indication. Yeah. Deeper spill rather than a lighter. Exactly, lighter. and that's why I I put this this would be this would be just this trade, and even if from from breaking of this line to this line, which would be <coughs> a fifty percent trade, but the technical target of that spill would be this one. Yeah. Uh, but that's, it's and that's breaking that's breaking this bottom here. It is breaking which, that, so which so could so. be the the breaking of this arc. No, well, no, just a deeper. It, 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 a I know, that would be actually, I take that back. Maybe. This would actually get to the base of the arc. Yeah, the look at that. Yeah. yeah. Just a deeper first drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is, it is. Ethereum has been moving really nicely. So Ethereum yesterday has has done a, uh, it has done a, a 786 correction of the swing. Um, we were talking about it in the morning saying the swing is too abrupt it, it can go anywhere um the the least i expected was the 0 0.5 but it actually went to the 786 if it if the channel breaks uh, 1380 would be the 1414 and then 1330 would be the 1618 which would be in line with um 1380 would be here, 1414, 1320 uh, would be um, along this line, along the support and resistance line, which is a bigger, which is a bigger support and resistance line uh, coming from, uh, from this uh, consolidation. But I, uh, again, I, I'm going to move it slightly down. So this is the 12, 1280. Uh, no, so I take that back. It's just going to be along this bottom here, thirteen fifty. Um, so that's that's where uh, that's where things are uh, are are going. Look like they're going for Ethereum. Um, my my most likely move would be farther down, but um, again, if we do if we do build up support here, and if we see the one hour. 20 MA turned into support and being held, and then the midline being held. Um, of course, we might hit, uh, we might uh, go to the top uh, and back test um, the top line again and do another swing. This channel is not complete in terms of swings. If I am to look at the lines, uh, I think I think we would need um, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least two more swings, one up and one down. Uh, but I have seen, because of this length and consolidation channels break um, earlier, I, I, will, I will be posting these two scenarios, both the up and the down, because we need to watch everything. Uh, we've seen very volatile days last week and this week, so we need to know. That's why I have, uh, so, um, uh, I have the intermediary steps and levels on the one hour to know uh, what's, what's going to happen in the immediate future that is on the on the day on or on the next day but the bigger picture is the bigger picture and the bigger picture indicates more downward movement okay uh bitcoin uh, is in the same bitcoin is in the same boat so bitcoin um did again what we anticipated it would do um i just uh what the way i anticipated it was much sooner last week it did it after a lot of sideways, a lift up abruptly, and then a push down equally abruptly. It almost is like a Bart Simpson here. Um, has it reached its maximum potential for the down? No, I don't think so. 18, 8, 18K, 800 would be the support level for this. And again, it's moving in this uh, triangle space um, between the yellow line and the orange line. Uh, it is moving between two support and resistance lines as well. So there's the diagonal one, but there's also the horizontal level. So you see how nicely they got uh, reached here. Um, again, there's more down. We've lost all support on the on the daily. 
Um, we've done a golden pocket correction, 19,900. That was my initial target for my short, but then I, and this is the this was the target uh, for this ascending wedge. So it reached the target to uh, the technical target. It met it very nicely. Um, uh, I took profit earlier. I took profit at 20,400 20, um, because that's where the 20 on the daily was and I imagine this was going to uh, uh, cause a little bit of a fight and some sideways and I didn't want to stay in the trade but actually pushed it, uh, pushed through it. Uh, so here here, uh, let me show you the, um, there we go, the hourly level. So again, uh, similarly to Ethereum, we've had uh, our targets met. We've had three targets met uh, on Bitcoin. First, second, and third yesterday. And we're looking at the bottom one now. But for the bottom one to be reached, we need to actually see this yellow line, the 19,800 um, 19, break. And when the 19,800 breaks, we might see the 18,500 um, reached. So, um, I again, the more likely move for today slash tomorrow would be down, another leg down. Um, I, I think it's going to take a little bit of consolidation. I was, um, I was showing on the, on the Discord. The way this lift up happened very quickly the way um, this drop happened very quickly so they're quite similar in speed but then the the lift towards the top was a slow ascending one I believe we're gonna have a slow descending uh, swing towards the bottom um, just just a bit of uh, swing symmetry uh, the way it goes up and the way it goes down might be similar so that's um, that's where I think we are. Of course, uh, if we find support, now we haven't tested. Again, I am looking. I am looking at uh, support being tested, and holding. And the fact that we haven't tested this yellow line, which was the 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 baseline of the lift here, the fact that we didn't come close to it and we didn't backtest it. That that to me is a is is not a sign of rejection. On the contrary, it's a sign that next time when it's gonna come to it, it's gonna come with all this consolidation behind it, and it's gonna break it quite fast. So um, if we had tested it and then bounced off it up, uh, that that would have meant you know it's it's held once, it's tested its strength once. But this hasn't even tested its strength. Um, it came close and then decided to consolidate here. And I believe this consolidation is to break further to the next level. The 18,600 would be... Um, uh, would be uh, would be somewhere between the seven eight six uh, and the one, and it wouldn't be breaking. It wouldn't be breaking the the swing. So it would just be breaking the seven eight six level. So again, that's that's uh, that's Bitcoin. Uh, same story uh, for Ethereum as well. So uh, what we've got is. I believe another leg down for both of them about I think five or six percent um, let me just no uh, I it's eight percent for ethereum uh, eight percent for Bitcoin and for ethereum if this line breaks here a minimum of four percent here and if it goes um, lower 13 percent but this might take um, a whole week to complete but 4% for the next leg down, initially 8% for uh, for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's move was a little bit more violent this time. We'll see we'll see what happens when a New York opens because we're going to have a, probably a um, a, a reversal. Uh, Sydney held it in place. London gives it a little bit of a lift. New York might give it a, a little lift initially and then um, a push down. Have a good day trading and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning.